welcome to my tube. My name is Marge, I'm a Hayoka empath, and I just like to do these little talks on how I feel about things. Thought I'd commemorate the Lionsgate portal with a celebratory <clears throat> bow tie. I used to, this used to be my, my normal attire every Tuesday night. Or special occasions, conferences, talks, concerts, operas, Lion King on Broadway, whatever the occasion, I'd buy a new bow tie. Ever since I was a little girl, as long as I can remember, I freaking loved them. And then as an adult, I went back and watched Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and I get why. <laughs> See, we're impressionable and we're deliberate. And, you know, I believe that humans are more pragmatic than they portray themselves to be. And, you know, they do things deliberately. And, they love deliberately, they withhold love deliberately. And what's coming into place these days is the world is 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 reeling is the world that I is that I, I, I keep coming into mind. It's reeling because it's set it been set to such a low vibration through technology and fear and you know impose threats and all that, you know, what people tell us that we need to be afraid of. You know, the reality a lot of times stuff that we don't need to, that people say we need to be afraid of isn't in our close proximity and the things that we need to be wary and cautious of, we need to look at, you know. I used to watch a show called uh, Captain Kangaroo and it was like a variety show a little bit and there is a segment, Upside Down World, where you put in the mirror you know, there's a mirror, and then you say, God, there's a lot of traffic on the street today. <laughs> anyway, it's a small street. There's all kinds of people out and about, you know. I want to move to a freaking little, nice little quiet mountain community where there just aren't this traffic, you know. It's just distracting. And that's the, the dissidence that's be been created. It's a whole back to the whole upside down world you know you look in the mirror and, and, the, and the reality of the situation is, is it's opposite of what they say you know and this landscape portal and all these constellations uh, with Uranus and Jupiter you know going direct and this Pluto energy all this energy and just find your own way through astrology I implore you that 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 is making people see things for what they are even if they see freaking their their uh, ancestors, you know, in a visual state. They're like, what? Because all the stuff that we we were told that we couldn't do, you know, imaginary friends, it's just seeing in frequency. That's all it is. It's just seeing in different vibrations, you know, and tell your mom and dad and people tell you, no, you don't see that. You're crazy. That isn't real. <laughs> it's all synonyms. So we're in this, between this energy, this Lionsgate portal and it's time to celebrate, eat good food, spend time with your friends, become elated, raise your vibe. How do you do that when when you look around and things seem to be falling apart? Well, stop looking around. Get quiet. Go within. God, the whole planet would be different if they could just go inside and self-soothe. But I'm glad to see all the, the people standing up for what they believe in. That just tells me that people are tired of how things are. Suppression. You can't suppress people. You can't take people's power. You can't take from people and keep so much for so few people and so few for so many. It's in balance. That's all I talk about on my tube is energy and the balance of it and how, what you can do to keep yourself calibrated so you don't cause harm to yourself and other people because hurt people hurt people. If you soothe yourself, then you'll stop harming yourself and others. Because, but how many people, you know, I mean, I, I used to, I used to, try and help people see that they can live a different life, you know, and you, you know, are you willing to ask them, are you willing to go to any lengths to change your life, and they're like, oh God, in desperation, yes, I am so willing, I will do anything, you got to do this, first thing out of the world, and they're like, oh, that's extreme, and that's where our society has been today, so we need extreme things, so people like me, hey, Oka, we impose extreme measures, I, I challenge every candidate to go sleep in your tent city, at the city, state, federal level, if you're a candidate, go sit, sleep three nights, four days in this tent city where the homelessness is running rampant. Because you'll see a lot of these people are not jobless. They are homeless. 
a lot of kids going to universities right now can't afford it because they're, so they're sleeping in their cars so they can go to school. So go put yourself, all these people that make the rules that don't follow the rules, either get out of there and put regular people in there because it's a regular world. I don't know what world they're living in, but it's a regular world. So we need regular pos people in regular positions to come up with concepts for regular people because not everyone gets to live like the privileged. Not everyone gets that privilege. Some people work a lot harder for it, get there, and then if something happens, life happens, you know. Mom, you know, you can't be left for too long. Things change. You got to shift gear. I don't know anyone else who took a $55,000 pay cut to hang out with mo their mom, you know. I take extreme mess measures, so when I go out in the world, and I'm like, well, I did it. Why can't you? I put myself through college. Why can't you? And I don't have student debt. Yeah, I gave the Air Force six years, and I get to freaking resolve the karma of having to be a part of such a gross freaking entity. But I did my part. You know, there's plenty of people that do their part in this world. There's plenty of people that do it, and there's plenty of people that don't do their part, and then tell people that are doing their part to step up, and that's the imbalance in them. I call bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. See. I read energy. You can't lie. Energy doesn't lie. But people are, have relied for so long that people are, that other people won't question them because it's so obvious. It's their behavior is so gross and so freaking in your face, over the top, disgusting. That who is gonna ever think that they act like that? So they just don't get questions, or they just buy off their friends you know, or their the people that keep them quiet. You pick, really. So, anyway. Um, I believe in energy, and you can't lie, and, you know, and all these people, and more and more people are becoming like me because they're waking up. They're waking up. They're raising in their vibration. When you raise your vibration, it's like a tuning pitch. You pick up on the vibrations around you, like how you tune a, 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 a guitar, you ding, and then you go, mm, make it tune it like that, right? So the, the whole planet right now is changing its tune. Harmonic resonance. Schumannic resonance I call it the harmonic convergence because we all have a tune we all have a tune you know and the more balanced we are the more we are inclined to um, our tune is gonna be sweeter you know that's why musicians are gifted and things like that but the more unbalance you get it's freaking it's like shrill nails on a chalkboard right that's the tune you put out you put out dissonance you don't make any sense you know, you're selfish, you're greedy, you're, you're this, all these lower vibrational things. And so high vibrational people are like, what are you, you know? Why why are you creating this when in the world is just supposed to be a harm, harmony and peace? And what's your tune, you know? Level up. So now all these high vibers are like, freaking raise your vibe, man. We're sick of you. <laughs> We're sick of you low vibers. We're sick of all you people that care about third quarter profits when it's all a makeup freaking game of, of, uh, you know, third quarter projections, you, you guess a number, and if you don't reach it, then the rest of the world has to suffer because you raise your cost of maybe... It's all freaking make-believe. You know it's real? Feelings and emotions and having honest and true conversations about them. That's how you're going to freaking keep the shootings from happening. Letting people be allowed to have their emotions. And if they haven't cops harm, let them have whatever emotions and feelings they and thought and share whatever express as long as they don't get to cause as long as they don't cause harm to another. That's what jails and polices are and prisons are for. It's not supposed to house people that are freaking trying to, you know, spew point out the corruption, you know, and then some bureaucrat doesn't like them so just lock them up. You know? There's there's a lot of people those kind of people in prison too, you know people that are trying to expose corruption and then people are like no you are a threat no dude smoke and mirrors smoke and mirrors tell yourselves people use your own discernment do you not have enough sense to walk into a room and not freaking feel that there's just been an argument really are people that dumbed down desensitized really i'm gonna have to go with yes because as i look around the world and i see about whether where the precedence is set i fucking hate pro sports man all you athletes you guys don't are earn, don't earn what you you think you're worth. Politicians are the same way. Freaking 
military officers, you're the same way. None of you are worth what you make. None of you. Not one. I've never seen a politician, someone that freaking makes six figures that is like out there freaking worth it, working it, you know, like doing something that is actually, I've never met them. Maybe they exist, but I've, ne I've never met them. They just keep getting fatter because their blessings are spoiling them. I'm staying thin because I'm, manage I'm managing to maintain balance and, and recognizing that my blessings are not tangible and that my blessings are the Tucker as well and came home. He had four teeth pulled. God bless him, but he's good. So focus on your blessings. Get quiet, go within. Spend time in nature. Listen to the birds. Watch the birds. Watch a spider spin its web, man. That is the coolest thing. They freaking shoot up Blake like Spider-Man. When They do that and they freaking let, it's like a sail, is that they let it freaking go and catch in the wind up into a, the desired branch. And it's just amazing. You know, if more people just bask in the glory of that, we'll be all, we'll be all right. We'll be all right. We'll be all right in this world. So I have faith. And if you don't, borrow mine. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.